All right, here's probably the coolest thing I fixed up for Paul, and this is a Bally Bowler, Bally ABC Bowling Lane, 1957. Uh, I believe I was told it was the first Bally Bowler that they came out with. Um, could be wrong. This one doesn't have any gutters um, on it, but what's really cool about it is if you get a split and you hit on the left side of that pin there, it actually knocks out the right pin uh, so it plays like a real real bowling machine has these three and a half inch balls that come chugging back to you and uh, 15 feet look at that, 15 feet long about this thing is uh, 28 inches wide pretty pretty small but boy I would just die to get something like this in my house <laughs> Of course, I'd die to have a house of size to put it in, too. Um, anyway, I'm going to open this up. Uh, neat how this thing all assembles and disassembles. Uh, it has a huge spring inside of it um, to hold it open. Look at the size of this spring. Probably about three inches round in diameter. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, just a, a really... Fun machine to work on too. It's it's got some some a uh, lot of space to work in there, and uh, pretty basic, pretty easy to work on. The problems that it had was um, the game over relay was missing, so I rigged it with this Williams one, which was the same ohms. Uh, all these relays can't find them anymore. No one has them. Not even Steve Young. Can you believe it? Um, I believe they're 184, 103s, I believe it was. Um, can't remember, but anyway, um, this was another problem. It had all these fuse holders were broken off, so I put a new one in there. Uh, of course, I had to clean out all the contacts on it, you know, did all the typical stuff, made sure the springs were tight. This reset bank. Um, really had to clean this stuff off because the reset bank wouldn't reset and some of the pins would stay down uh, but look at the size of this there's one coil to run one side and another coil to run the other side but just an awesome game it's got a little tiny bell inside of it which is kinda of funny it's just like a little chime unit on it that's one thing they should have changed you know got a big game put a big bell on it uh, let's see what else is neat about this game. All these beautiful um, score reels. These score reels actually have lights behind the reel, which is great. So it actually illuminates. Sorry for the camera angle here. Try and do this with one hand. Oh, pfft, uh, can't get that open with that open. Anyway, there's a light behind each one of the score reels. And uh, and yeah, and this stepper unit, the fingers on it weren't making good contact. That was messed up. Uh, heavy machine, very heavy machine. So I'll start up one game and we'll play one game real quick. Check it out.